Hello guys, Robot One here, and today I have Sidek Friday for you guys. Now, Sidek Friday is a segment on my channel where I talk about um, good cards that I think would be good to side in your side deck this format, and my reasons why I think they're good to side deck in this format. So today we're talking about a quite old card that's been around for quite a while. It's been pretty good ever since the Pendulum mechanic started, and we're going to be talking about that card today. So. This card is called Anti-Spell Fragrance. So for Anti-Spell Fragrance is a continuous trap card with the effect that it says both players must set spell cards before activating them and cannot activate them until their next turn. Now, that basically means you have to set your spell card and you cannot activate it until your next turn. Not your opponent's turn, your next turn. Meaning that you cannot even activate quick play spell cards on your opponent's turn if you set them on your turn. So, what is this good against? Um, this is pr really good against the Pendulum Archetype. Um, why is it really good against the Pendulum Archetype? Because the Pendulum Archetype has to set, activate their scales to actually be able to do anything. They are not allowed to set their scales. So, activating an anti-spell fragrance against your opponent, against a Pendulum player, means that they are not able to set their, put their scales up and not able to just spam the board with a Pendulum Summon. Um, it also it's also good against monarchs. Sorry for the shaky screen. Um, it's also good against monarchs because they can't just go pantheism, stormforth, tenacity, all of that because they have to wait a turn by setting the spell card. They can't stormforth on your turn, being able to summon the ether either because the stormforth won't be able to activate until their turn, meaning it's very hard for them to get around it. So, it's a very good card in general for these decks. Now, against these decks. Um, a good, I, the decks that this would be best to side in, though, to side it into with, would probably be things like um, Cosmo, for instance. Cosmo are a deck that may run quite a few spell cards, but is also a good, doesn't really need to activate those spell cards because they can just activate, they can just normal summon their, say, tin can or whatever and then just carry on with that also you can just if you have the cosmo town in hand that you don't need to set you can just put that on this pen the field spell zone before activating your anti-spell fragrance so you're able to even get still use your cosmo town even with e and things it doesn't matter because you can still set your e and wait a turn which cut doesn't even mean anything because you can still play around it even if you do have the e turn one and the anti-spell fragrance you can just activate the e and still be fine because you'll use the e telly on your turn so it won't matter um so guys what um there's other decks that this card is also good against namely stuff like um clee because they can't set their pendulum scales either me uh it stops their card of demise as well um and also, guys, another deck that I'm forget just almost forgot to mention is Burning Abyss. It's also a really good card to side in Burning Abyss because the only cards, only um, spell cards they really run are Allure, Foolish, and Twin Twister. Why they mainly run monsters, which is very good. And even again in PK Fire, they run multiple traps as well, meaning I would say about six traps. And that doesn't really stop the anti-spell fragrance from stopping them. And if you do play anti-spell fragrance and things like that, then you can play um, the Emergency E card, whatever it is. The card that was released in Wing Raiders. It, the, the name of the card escapes my mind right now. Um, but yeah, th that can come off with the anti-spell fragrance. So even if you don't have the cards, then this is still a very good card to side in. Hell, you could even side this in the Klee deck yourself. It won't. You may not be able to set your scout, but you could already have the scout set in the scale, meaning it's still a very good card to play. So, yeah, guys, that's Anti-Spell Fragrance. Those are my reasons why I think it's a very good side deck card right now. And, yeah, so, guys, why don't you tell me what you think of Anti-Spell Fragrance? Tell me if you side it yourself, and tell me if you would, you're going to side it now that I've told you about this card. Um, and, yeah... So guys, if you liked this video, please like, comment, and subscribe for more your videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.